so um what i notice like most about um women who try to um be a subordinate and then try to win like a doctor's love interest is usually through um i guess um private alone time or weekend outings but a lot of it like boils down to um I think um age is one of them but I think like depending on the doctor's age I think what ultimately sets the deal for marriage for a doctor and a subordinate is like um basically um knowing how to um get along with patients in their native language and as well as um having like a really good like character personality and something along the line where like you are going to be um honest about <clears throat> your job field title later on and it's like not to be too desperate um uh, so like i like think overall like um i think like vietnamese women and like um chinese men have like a really bad like rap for like a lot of people but i feel like vietnamese women like at the same time like gossip way too much way too much way too much and they really um don't really know how to like um impress um kind of like they don't impress like Caucasians as much as like Vietnamese men and I think um it's like kind of hard to really like pinpoint out the things to really talk about but like I feel like a lot of Vietnamese women kind of wasted like my time in like giving them like the opportunity to like date the doctor and ended up having like a ca white caucasian girl in return so i did not like flirt with the doctor at all and i just let them have their time but i think what it boiled down to was that um someone who is too um dilman like um as a young like fresh out of the college like student kind of builds and like um has like builds like grudge for the doctor later on in the years um and not just years but months but you you can basically like hold in like your tongue and not holding your tongue but like hold in your like um anger but i think a receptionist like once you are receptionist to the doctor and you're never promoted as a surgery scheduler it's a big red flag that the doctor probably doesn't see you as a potential leader like partner like slash wife slash like future wife of like the overall clinic and it's like a really th like like a really hectic thing where like the decision of the doctor's ultimate like spouse is not like 
determined based on his own will um or his own decision but based on like a lot of his social life um patience and school um alumni like input um not input but alumni like approval of like certain like receptionist woman trying to be I don't know a primary care doctor or like some sort of like MD I I think like it's like um I think like maybe like it's not just like grades that will like really impress a doctor it's more like um the overall family values um and like how you're brought up and raised and what kind of personality you really have but i think i watched like a lot of korean dramas like kind of like dictating or like like kind of discussing like what happened but not what happened but like they don't really talk about like the doctor that much but i think the most most of the impression was basically like me talking too loud and not thinking and really don't have like a polite voice or like really is not ladylike or really act more mature my age um all these things boil down to like um basically like i think um what sets me apart from like the vietnamese girl is like i'm chinese and she's vietnamese but what like we do similarly and not it's like really like um really not that different um and she's more f like kind of like interacting with like um a lot of like people the first impression but i think she skips steps when it comes to insurance cards and i think she doesn't ha like really like do like scanning or like kind of pushes off like a lot of like minor details and i think like these short like not shortcuts um these like type of like um training if not like i think like what happened was that she was not independent enough like to like um become like a leader I think like a lot of people think it's like well maybe it's Cantonese and Mandarin but like most of the time we don't speak Cantonese and Mandarin to each other and most patients speak like I would say like 40 to 30 percent started out Cantonese but like it eventually led to like 20 percent but I think like I think like you have to be a really like um Chinese like really like your presence should be really well known like in order for the doctor to really accept you but I think like it's not just like studying Chinese but she studied chemistry but I think it's like Chinese but like it's a thing where if you don't like um if you don't really like focus your time on like really like um on <clears throat> kind of um dating for like a long time i think like i think like i think the doctor even texted me like kind of messaged me but i didn't respond because like he said something about punctual plugs and then like I got fed up because like he was trying to force a woman to get punctual plugs. So like I think he was trying to fire me but in any case I think like it didn't work out and it backfired. And I think Lynn 
kind of text, kind of messages him a lot. So, I think, like, I was pretty much, like, blessed because, like, I did not fall for, like, the doctor's, like, flirt, flirting ways. So, um, and I kind of hid my writing skills from him. And I think it's not age. It's not age that really makes or breaks the relationship between Vietnamese women and Chinese men in general. But I feel like Vietnamese women, like, are not that, um, able to hold, like, a Chinese man's attention for that long when it comes to, like, discussing about culture and etc. And I think, like, it has to do with, um, work. Like, it can be discussed, like, almost all the time. But, like, when it comes to, like, family influence and family background and, like, overall, like, um, overall, like, um, working like skills like I think like if you work really hard at like your work job and then like you're trying to like marry like the doctor I think that's like a big sign that you're not like like you're not really like um you're not really like the most ideal partner for the doctor to think of. So I already had like a Vietnamese relationship with another Stanford guy and he knows um and he tries his and, and he moved on to another like blonde person. So I think like I think the doctor was trying to date me but in the end, like, he ended up, like, um, trying to flirt with, like, the Vietnamese girl. So, I think what boils down to is that someone who is, like, a subordinate should know how to reject people, like, really well. If you want to last, like, really a long time in, like, the medical field. And you can introduce like people to like to them but I think like Vietnamese women are so like caught up in like I don't know Chinese men in general that they really don't understand not really understand but they don't really like know that they're being used and it's not like youth or beauty that's really going to like make someone really like um stay with you for the rest of your life like in a lot of marriages i feel like doctors relationships that i've seen so far like the most perfect relationship is probably a taiwanese like, um, Mandarin, like, doctor, and, um, a brunette lady, I think they were the closest perfect couple, and they had, like, a lot of common interests, but I don't know if, like, they have trouble problems, but they have daughters, and I'm not sure if they, yeah, I think they have a son too, but I have, like, this thing where I think they, like, in the, in the result of trying to, tr like, train me, I think, like, he almost fell in love with me, but I think, like, he kind of, like, really, really, like, um, cared about his daughter so I think being like a good mom is what well, well being a good mom will ultimately like impress like Chinese men 
but I think there's more to it, like attractiveness level, etc. But I think like um most Chinese men are not into like successful Chinese men are not into like Asian women. It's like they start they had they had this agreement to date them because like most of their um patients are white and Caucasian but I feel like they date white women who are from prestigious like backgrounds or not from prestigious backgrounds but someone who's like able to help them like like expand their careers and have it really secure and safe for like the rest of their lives because like a lot of asian american women and asian women are not able to um kind of like um really fight for them early on in the field and I feel like it's not a mistake, but it's like a thing where if you feel like the person's worth fighting for, then you fight for it like in the beginning. But if it's like so so, then you fight for it later. Because like I think as like an Asian American, like an Asian woman, like as like a medical social work, not social worker, but like a medical like receptionist like I think the more men you know the better but you don't become entangled in relationship where you have like babies with them like later on and regret it because like it's a lot of like ha- like a big problem like later on in the f- like later on in marriage but I think like a lot of Asian American like or Asian woman like really think that a like some sort of like marriage like between white women with like asian men it's like really like surface level and really like um not surface level but like it's really like um it's ideally like perfect for ivy league but um when it comes to like UCs um it's like a big mess but I really like um Asian men and I really Asian women together um kind of like has this perfection thing like this like bar that you set high for yourself but when it collapses I think the most hurt it's probably like um probably the most hurt is like the American woman I think like they don't understand like I don't I don't know if like um Asian American men really like are that invested in them in terms of like um relationship and emotionally physically and like mentally because um I'm not talking about looks I'm talking about like compatibility and whatnot but I feel like it's a thing where like um it's something that like um it's like in society it's like a really like thing like it's like a it's like a really like i think like in society i think it's like really like frowned upon for an asian american to wear to marry a white woman but i don't think like for an asian american men like they think about like a lot about like whether american woman like really like um think like long-term marriage like vows like as important as like asian american woman or asian woman like has a lot to deal do with like relationships like growing up 
really like or not stable as like Asian American Asian woman. It's like this is like one of the biggest flag that a lot of Asian American men have with like American women because like they're like it's it's not like I'm not talking about like serial dating or like dating like in general, but like I'm talking like basically like having a family like I think like the only thing that Asian American men respect in American women is that they're good teachers but when it comes to like um finance and like um cook cooking like or like and type of like household uh, like wife materialistic things like I don't know like household like work they're like really like um not able to handle it as best as as well as like Asian woman and Asian American woman and like dealing with Asian American family members they have to cut them off and basically like devote their life entirely to like American society and it's something they miss and it's something that American women will not like basically allow the the Asian American like men to basically like go back to um so I think it's you can be like really like um, financially stable but it's really hard to win the heart of an Asian American to like say you're the perfect or trophy wife of, of American woman because they were not like um, I'm not talking about virginity but I'm talking about like their mentality is like really like built upon um a lot of like um non-traditional like relationships with the workplace and friendships and it's like asian american men only take so much can take so much and then like they end up like leaving them and then so far like hispanics is pretty much like the end and it's now like up to like white woman but like i feel like like in general like i really think that like american women like really do not know how to like do their best in like trying to um be like a good wife but a good like parent so you can only become a parent so much. I think, like, for American men, like, I think, like, being, like, a good parent is, like, the basic of all necessity. Like, not, not all necessity, but, like, the basic of all things. Like, they can tolerate you. Like, whatever you do, like, if you're a good parent, like, they'll, they'll tolerate you. But I think, like, Asian American men don't really expect their wives to be like good parent um more so like a good like spouse so it's like in reverse so i think like um i think like american women really like are racist to like asian american men in general so i don't know why like so much attention is placed upon them but i think like in the i think like when it comes to marriage like i think like men decide to marry american men, women if they are really really successful in their job field and they can cope well and they can like really get along with a lot of people and they can raise children it's like false and true but there's really nothing like I think like it's like I think like I think it's like a really like a fake like superficial thing 
that's going on with them that like m- Asian American men don't realize like later on in the field when they're like 70 years old that a lot like of youth and like a lot of like I don't know like decision making process and like a lot of like ongoing like um a lot of ongoing like um like basically like um like timeline spent with American women are really not as like um like you're controlled and you're enforced to be a certain way around American women and you're like a dog like basically to American women once like you have a a a child who's a boy and a girl it's not really like it's not really like obvious but like you'll start to see like slowly that when when you put up like a front like to the public eye like they can really tell that as smart as like an asian american like male might be they they're ultimately like dogs in the relationship like for american like women because like they don't like respect like asians in general and it's like you fight and there's like really no like um justice um toward like asian american men to really like fight for like equality in a relationship once like the like once you have like two two babies like um yeah so i think like if an american woman really loves like an asian american like men i think they would like think about having a daughter instead of like a son but when they have a son like there's definitely like like ulterior motives like to gain like assets or like some sort of like really rich like husband that they probably like knew or had an like a hunch that like the husband is really really smart and like really successful and really rich but i'm not saying it's just gold digger because like asian american and asian women are gold diggers too um but i think with the amount of time you like place like an american woman um and you ask them to for instance like successfully like become a leader it's like really like really really like non-existent and they don't want to become leaders because they just want to be followers and for a leader like it's pretty much like asking them to forbid like um not forbid but like basically not have sex and wait until like you have a career and i think like asking this from someone like i think like of a white woman is like they're not going to basically like provide like the same like um like like the same type of like um wait waiting period as like asian american or asian women do and it's like a thing that i think a lot of people need to understand and respect the privacy of a lot of asian american and asian women and relationships because like um someone always needs to be like sacrificed um and it's usually not american woman it's usually like asian american woman and asian woman um and it's not fair because a lot of the thing mentality thoughts that go through a typical like um, like asian american men's head are like a really like traditional like 
um father or like a Chinese father or a Chinese mother's like mentality and I think it's really not worth it for like American women to learn these type of ideas or ideals because they the thing that they think about are um probably like thinking about try to like make like try to own like someone not own someone but like try to like make it really like um really really obvious that like um certain like males are not supposed to have more than one slut or one like boyfriend or girlfriend and not like think this is like impossible like this husband of mine will never cheat on me and can only have me as like the one and equal partner so I think like it's something to think about for a lot of American women because like um Asian American men like can only do so much but I think like Asian American men like in general like really like prefer like American women to respect him but I think it's not just respect like I think American women really like cannot like tolerate like another like person like being with him but if you're not able to do well like socially and academically and job wise I think they're forced to do so to have another like partner like outside of marriage and American women will do whatever it takes to destroy this type of like relationship like even with like really really like dangerous like type of tactics um and I think after that pretty much like it's like pretty much like a contract marriage I think like a lot of like things happen like that and I think like a lot of Asian American men regrets marrying like an American woman once they meet like the most perfect like ideal like um partner who's Asian who is smarter than American woman and, and just haven't like met with him earlier and like I think it's like you give them time and space to think but it's like in the end I think like American women are not like really like diphon and really selfish and like kind of like kind of squeeze the life out of a relationship and really like don't like really like under like not understand but uh, like really really like can like sympathize with like Asian American men's like mentality and can't like really really like get along with Asians in general.